Hell yeah, what's up guys? It's Cruise Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back again guys. Today I got a whole bunch of stuff for you. First thing I want to talk about, we're going to take a look at the latest YouTube statistics. The video stats are out guys, they're crazy, and I'm going to give them to you. And of course, if you want to verify what I'm telling you isn't just me making up, there's a link in the description below. The second thing I want to talk to you about is a Facebook strategy. It's a potential strategy that I've seen big Facebook guys and actually big YouTubers use. I don't know if it's intentional or not. And it just helps them grow their channel. And it could make you more money. So we're going to talk about that second. And the third and final thing we're going to talk about is, well, your skill sets. As a video editor, as somebody that understands social networking, video editing, YouTube, and all that stuff that goes with it, I want you to know that you have an amazing skill set that is going to serve you very well in the future. And if you are in a position where you know, you're know you not getting the number of views you want to get, or if you're not getting you know maybe the subscribers or anything, you know that kind of stuff, we've all been there. We're all like, I want, to, I want more. Guys, There's the world is your oyster. I promise you I'm going to give you some tips and some encouragement at the end of this. All right, that big mumble jumble out of the way, let's get into the statistics. All right, stat one. Alright guys, the first statistics are the YouTube statistics. We've all heard them. YouTube's huge. YouTube's growing. You know, you get, I don't know, 500 million uploads a day or whatever it is, guys. Well, we've got a new stat, and here it is. For every single 24-hour period, YouTube shows 46,000 years of video. So for every day, globally, the world watches 46,000 years of video. That is an unbelievable statistic that's almost incalculable, and it is massively growing. It is not stopping. In fact, the train is just choo choo choo, man. There is it's just it's unstoppable. Here's some more stats for you. YouTube videos are currently 11.3 times more popular than Facebook videos at the moment. For every 11 or I guess for every 11.3 minutes a YouTube video is watched, a Facebook video is watched once. So that's a stat that, you know, it's kind of shaky. We'll talk about that later, but also millennials, people between the ages of 13 to 17 are 18.5 times more likely to watch a YouTube video than a Facebook video. These are just some stats that I wanted to throw at you because, well, here's the thing. For those of us, and I talked about it briefly at the beginning, sometimes we feel like, hey, you know, we're not getting where we want to be. We're not getting the number of views we want or, you know, when is this thing going to pick up? When am I going to start, you know, getting them subs and getting them views and all that stuff? Well, here's the thing, guys. This train is still going. I mean, you it's not slowing down. It's growing crazy fast. And with that out of the way, I want to talk to you about a strategy that might work. Here it is. All right, guys, this first thing I want to talk to you about is Facebook strategy. That's right, guys. I mentioned it briefly at the beginning. YouTube is way bigger than Facebook, and it's very hard to compare them. It's really apples and oranges because they use different measuring systems. But I'll talk about that at the end. But here's the thing. Has any of you or have any of you tried uploading videos to Facebook, uploading them organically? I'm not talking about embedding links onto your Facebook page, even though that does work, but I'm talking about using Facebook's organic uploader, uploading your video that you made for YouTube, put it on Facebook, and then use Facebook to drive traffic back to YouTube. Let me give you an example. If you create a Let's Play for a new game and you make a quick one, instead of uploading it only to YouTube, upload it to Facebook on your personal page or on your, you know, or maybe you have a, a game page or something like that. Um, I know Dissector, if you want a good example, Dissector has his own Facebook page. Um, upload it there and then say, hey guys, to watch more videos like this, check out my YouTube channel. Put a link in, the, in your write-up there and try and send traffic back to YouTube. I know big YouTubers like Key and Peele and a couple of those comedy guys, Amy Schumer, they have uploads both on YouTube and Facebook. And I wouldn't have heard about them in many cases if I wouldn't have seen it on Facebook first. I watched it on Facebook and I was like, hey, this is hilarious. And then I went to YouTube and I found all their videos. So this is another strategy that might work for you guys. I know it's, it's kind of, you know, it works for the big guys and I assume that, you know, you guys might want to try it out. Second part of this is have any of you ever tried this? If you've tried it, let me know what kind of results you've had. I've uploaded my own personal stand-up comedy videos to Facebook and I've had great results and I've seen search engine increases going to my YouTube channel. So I can tell you, it does work. But again, let me know what you guys think about it. Secondly, guys, the other thing you want to know is that Facebook, they, ch they count their videos a little differently. So while this sounds like a great strategy, do keep in mind that Facebook counts a video after three seconds. And on Facebook news feeds, they auto play and they count that. So 
keep that in mind, and they also autoplay without audio. So there are some caveats, there are some things that, you know, ain't quite, like I said, they're apples to oranges, but it is a potentially effective strategy. Give it a try and let me know if you've tried it or if you do try it, what kind of results you get. All right, last thing we're gonna talk about is some words of encouragement. Here we go. All right, guys, the last one. This isn't real fluff here, guys. I'm not trying to inflate egos, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit from my situation. As a YouTuber in the past and currently, I've had great success and I've also had channels that sort of didn't get off the ground and, and they didn't get the number of views I wanted. And sometimes it used to get me down, or it can get me down, but not as much anymore. I'd be like, hey, I spent all this time learning how to video edit, spending, I've uploaded all these videos and nobody's watching them. And it, you guys, if you feel the same way, there's no shame in it. I've been there, we're in this together. But, uh, you know, we, I've, I've created all these accounts, I've changed my channel art, and I only get like 100 views or 1,000 views or whatever the number it is. It doesn't really matter. Here's the thing you got to think about, though. Like I said, those statistics at the beginning, I told them to you for a reason. Because YouTube is growing, whatever skills you are getting right now, whether it's video editing, social networking skills, all of that stuff, guys, these skills are not just good to have right now. They are going to be incredibly, if not infinitely, more valuable in the future. Even if you're a young YouTuber, you're like 14 and you know, you're, like, you're not getting the views. I'm just using an example. Guys, in 10 years from now, when you're out there in the job market cranking it out, and of course doing YouTube, on this side, or maybe you've made it by then, doesn't matter. You are going to have a skill set that will be able to get you jobs at all sorts of companies, whether it's a large corporation that needs you know, professional video, or small medium businesses that don't know how to do YouTube, and they want a video because they sell a product or a service. And you can go in there, film that, edit it, do the audio, create a Facebook account, create a YouTube account, do the channel art, do the icons, do the search engine optimization, the backlinking, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know that stuff, or you know most of that stuff, and this is gonna help you in the future. You're gonna be able to make a lot of money off this. So if you're feeling discouraged or you're not getting what you want right now, I just tell you that to try and tell you to keep the faith. You're creating an amazing, invaluable skill set that's gonna serve you for the rest of your life and you get to do what you like to do, making YouTube videos. How awesome is that? Anyways, guys, that's my wrap up for today. Thank you for watching this video. Stay the course, the stats are coming. Featured on Freedom is coming. We got all sorts of stuff coming here at Freedom. All right, stay tuned, this is Big C, check it out.